And you just wanna F U C K say that and I might uh say, Well, I'ma need this much. No, I ain't no prostitute or nothing like that. I ain't never sold none, but hell. In this day and age with everything with the cost of living and how things everything is expensive, huh? Hell, I might as well get paid. <laughs> what's up guys welcome back to my channel i am selfish trina and we are back with another vlog today we are doing a get ready with me i am getting ready to go to one of my friends well she's like family she's like a cousin she's my kid's cousin on their dad's side so her birthday was yesterday today she's having a pajama party and we all have to wear the same color pajamas i'm a little I don't know, mine's might be off, but we're about to do our makeup. I'm not gonna do like a beat beat, but I still wanna look, you know, presentable because we're gonna be taking pictures and I'm probably gonna take my camera with me, so I'm gonna vlog. So it's gonna be like, you know, a ladies' night. So we're gonna have fun, we're gonna play a lot of games. We are, our games be a little bit explicit though. I'm gonna record what I can record, post what I can post. But some of that stuff be a little raunchy you know we be playing the Carisha please game but we gonna start with these eyebrows yeah this is the before the glow up this is the face before the glow up you know <laughs> you know a lot of girls want to show y'all this but you know we're gonna go ahead let's get into this video so I'm gonna start by brushing my eyebrows up This is the pencil that I like to use. This is from my local beauty supply store from the brand Nika K. And this is in the color dark brown. So I like using this one for my eyebrows. So. Now we're about to go in with our e.l.f. concealer ladies I want to talk about single let's talk about being single in your 40s don't mind me y'all I'm, I'm doing a little pre-game and over here okay you now I want to get a little you know a little buzz in before I go not too much I just got a little bit that's the why anyway so that ain't gonna do too much for me baby but I'm 41 going on 42 this year and I've been single for I would say going on six years now now I have dated in the past but like nothing you know really serious and I don't know like I think I have gotten comfortable with being single I don't know I, and I don't know is that if it's a good thing or a bad thing that I'm okay with being single like don't get me wrong I would I would, I would like to be in I would love to be in a relationship you know cuz I do feel like I am a good woman and somebody should be you know experiencing this but I don't know nowadays the guys just play so many games that child, you just be like, I ain't got time. I don't got time because, you know, these dudes, they don't be want to keep it real. It's like, keep it real. Don't want to use this. They don't know how to just, you know, be real and tell you what they want. Like, up front, like, guys just love to just play games and just instead of just saying like all I want to do is sleep with you I just want to have sex just casual sex no strings attached no relationship just sex like just say that like there because there's a lot of women that's actually okay with that like I've heard women say you know they're okay they're okay with that now some women aren't but I don't know you know I just feel like just be real up front you know like I was just talking to this guy himself let me tell you, give y'all a little bit of a 
do a story time with y'all. So, I was dating a guy. I don't really want to say when, because ain't no telling who watch my videos. And, you know, he might watch my videos, so he might know I'm talking about him. But, we were dating, whatever. And... At the time, he had just got out of relationship with his baby's mom. And, you know, he said he wanted to be single, which, I, okay, I'm okay with that. You know, he wanted to be single for a while. You know, he had just got out of a relationship. And so, you know, we was kicking it. We was kicking it for, for a little minute or whatever. And I ain't gonna lie, you know, like, I, I did like him. Like, he, he really wasn't I typed at first, you know, because I ain't gonna really get into all that, but he, he wasn't my type, but he grew on me, you know, from the way, you know, he treated me, you know, just how he was with me, and, you know, he was a good father and all that good stuff, you know, that was, that's attractive, I, I love a man that's a, a good father, you know, that's, you know, involved and active in their kid's life, and so, I like that about him. And, you know, he was a working man. He wasn't, you know, all in the streets. He didn't go to the club. He, you know, he just, he wasn't that dude, you know. He was, he's from the hood. He's from the streets, but he just, you know, never really got too deep in that lifestyle. And he was a younger guy, too. So, let me just add that to him. He was younger than me. Okay, now, I'm going to tell y'all a little secret about myself. I do typically date younger guys and I'm gonna be honest that's probably one of the reasons why I am still single is because of that but then again I can't really say that because lately so after that situation I did start dating like guys that were you know my age they was actually older than me one was a little close to my age but two of them was a little older than me but we gonna get back into that. Let's go back. Let's finish talking about the young guy. So he was saying, you know, he wanted to be single. He didn't want to be in a relationship and whatnot. And I was cool with that. But then, like, all of a sudden, yes, all of a sudden, we had just, I don't know what happened. Well, obviously, this is what happened. We had stopped talking or whatever. I never understood why we stopped talking, but but now everything makes sense. His peoples was telling me about him and his new girl that he was kicking it with. Y'all, I'm do. I need to let me do this because I need to concentrate. But he was telling me about. Well, she was telling me about. You know, he had a, a girlfriend or whatever. Now, mind you. So, when I was dating this guy, now this is a guy, this is somebody that I actually knew. Like, I knew him through, I can't say too much, but I been knowing him for some years. So, he wasn't a stranger. Now, we had, okay, this is probably about to give it away, whatever. Anywho, we have kids, we have a kid, well, he only had one kid. I, of course, you know, have kids, but I have two younger ones and two older ones. Now, his kid was around the same age as my youngest child. And one thing about me, everybody knows this about me. I take my kids and I do stuff with my kids. We go places. I take other people's kids with us. And he's pretty much the same way. Like, he get he got a lot of nieces and nephews. So, he would get them and stuff and take them to do things. So, I was just, you know, you know, while we're kicking in the stuff, I'm like, you know, you want to get the kids together. You know what I'm saying? Do something with the kids. Take the kids out. Have some fun. And so, he told me that his baby mother didn't want him bringing his kid around other women. Which, you know, and that's understandable. Okay, so, you know, as a mother, I respect that because I am not going to bring 
a lot of men, you know, different men and stuff like that around my kids. Um, I don't really like my kids going around a lot of different women. And so as a mother, I understood that. But my jaw, y'all heard what I said. This is somebody that I've been new. We been knew each other. We're not strangers. I done been around his child. Not like that, you know, but you know, when we wasn't, you know, kicking it or whatever. So his people had told me that he had a girlfriend. Now, this is the man that said he wanted to be single. He didn't want to be in a relationship because he just got out of a relationship. And all of a sudden now, he has a girlfriend. So I'm like, how long he been, you know, kicking it with this girl? So when she told me how long, I'm like, wait a minute, the math is not mathing right now. I'm like, shit, we were still kicking it at that time. And then, I hear they've been doing stuff, so she has a kid too, like, the same age as his kid. So, I've heard, you know, so I heard they be doing stuff, she be around the kid, and I'm just like, this the same guy that told me that his child's mother didn't want him taking his child around other women. Now, all of a sudden, the child is around this girl and her kid, which is the same age as, I believe, my daughter. And I was just like, oh, okay. Wow. And I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I felt some type of way about that. Even to today, I feel like he owes me an explanation because it's like we just stopped talking out of nowhere. All of a sudden, you in a whole nother relationship, like while you were kicking it with me. Like, if I wasn't the person that you wanted to be with, if I wasn't the one for you, why couldn't you just be real and just keep it real with a person and tell a person how you feel and study, you know, like playing with people's feathers because. Even though, yes, he did definitely did tell me that he didn't want to be in a relationship, so I'm about to put these lashes on. He was always over, you know, we was we was around each other like we was in a relationship. And of course at that time, you know, he was the only guy that I was talking to that I was kicking it with. So, you know, of course, you know. When you laid up with a man and y'all intimate and stuff like that, it's natural to catch feelings or start, you know, start feeling some type of way. Even if it's not a relationship. I don't care what nobody say. If you kicking it like y'all in a relationship, y'all laid up, y'all intimate, you're, you're going to catch feelings. That's natural. But I just was like, and it's just from that experience, because like I said, he was the only guy I was talking to at the time, and I honestly felt like I got played. I'm usually a person that if I'm talking to one person, I won't talk to another guy. I'm just only going to talk to that person. But after that experience, now I'm just like... Nah, I'm gonna talk to multiple people at the same time. I don't, I, and I, I hate to be like that, cause I don't know. I just feel like, even though, even like, if y'all not in a relationship, it still kind of feel like you cheating or you being sneaky or you're not being loyal. If you know you are trying to get wifed up by somebody, and then they found out you talking to somebody else then they gonna feel like they can't trust you like that. So I don't want to do that. But just after this experience, I just, <laughs> I be like, mm, I don't know if I wanna get played again. Cause these dudes, they just don't keep it real. Like just be real up front and tell the person how you feel. Don't be trying to, well, he did tell me up front, but still I just feel like what did, you know what I'm saying? You should have been laid up with me and all that stuff.
extra stuff. Because like I said, it's natural. You're going to catch feelings. Regardless of how you look at it. You're going to catch feelings. But I don't know. So now like I do be talking to other guys or whatever. But I don't take nobody serious no more. And I probably, I don't, who knows. I probably passing up a good man. Maybe my husband. I don't be taking these guys serious, but then again, I really feel like I don't really feel like I am because like the guys that I have been like talking to and kicking it with, like they ain't been really talking about nothing. Like they want a good morning you to death, text you and all this other stuff and ask you what you cooking. Can they get a fucking plate? No, you cannot. Take me on the day, take me out to eat, let's go eat. And then you can get some plates later, but you need to show me something. Like I, I can show you that I can cook. Everybody know me, know that I can cook. That's nothing. But show me that you can court me. And these guys, they, they don't want to do that no more these days. I don't know. They just be full of shit and just play games. And like, this been the, old, the ones like my age or a little older than the guys that I normally date in. just different I mean these are older guys like now the guys that I talk to now they're older they like my age or around my age maybe a little younger or even a little older they just been full of shit it's like this one other guy that I've been talking to I don't know he too fucking secretive excuse my language y'all but I don't know how we get some time but I don't know I just feel like he a little too secretive for me like dude like, he always be talking about he want to take me on a date and all this stuff. And, but, we don't never go on a date. And then he, he says he's single. Now, he says he got custody of his kid. And his kids live with him. Mm-hmm. Now, so he like, can he, you know, ask me, can he come on my house and all this other stuff? I'm, no, no, you cannot, sir. I got kids. I don't bring um, guys around my kids, and you know, I, this this is a guy that I I don't really know. Like I know him, but not like you know, a lot of the other guys that I've you know have dated in the past. So I'm like, no, you know, I got kids or whatever. And so I'm like, it's just like, you know, you say you single and all this other stuff, shit, why I can't come over your house? Cause he definitely haven't invited me over there and I haven't said like, well, you know, shit, well. No, I think I have, like, you know, I think I did. Cause he just always be talking about some, he wanna cuddle and all this other stuff. And I just be like, if you don't get, get the, out of here, we not about to cuddle. We ain't finna do none of that. Like, can I get to know you first, sir? Before we get to cuddling, I might not want to cuddle with you. You might not want to cuddle with me. Like, dang. Like, people just don't want to court and date nowadays. Everybody just want to just jump in the bed. Like, damn, you don't know me from a can of paint. You don't know nothing about me. What I be into, if I be out here in these streets slanging pussy left and right, not using protection or nothing, like, and y'all guys just be just so quick to just want to jump in the bed with everything that y'all feel like look good, or even if y'all think something is easy and all oh, that would do, <laughs> you might want to be careful with the easy ones too, because them be the ones. I don't be understanding folks like whatever I don't know I don't want to put on too too much makeup today y'all but you know I gotta say I know they're gonna be trying to take pictures and all that other stuff so I'm just trying to make myself look a little decent presentable but yeah I don't know so I just like he just always be like texting me and stuff like that but it's like 
I'm over it because when I was willing to date you or whatever, you weren't talking about nothing. So now I was like, get out of here, sir. I don't got time. Like, the games that guys play. Like, if you just want to F U C K, say that. And I might uh, say, well, I'm going to need this much. No, I ain't no prostitute or nothing like that. I ain't never sold none, but hell. In this day and age, with everything, with the cost of living and how things, everything is expensive, huh, hell, I might as well get paid. <laughs> Cause, especially if I really don't even want to sleep with you either, huh. But yeah, so I just, I don't even bother with him no more. And then this other guy I was talking to, I could tell he wants somebody to kiss his <laughs> you know what and I'm just like bruh I ain't the one I'm not the one cause for more so I really don't even like you like that I'm just sitting here texting playing cause they play us I know y'all like me you just here you don't want nobody playing with you so don't be playing with nobody listen baby I could play a little bit, just a little bit, but I don't even really, I don't even play with the man to where I'm even really like having him think that I even like him like that. And he knows that because he asks me, like, hey, do you really even like me? I'll be like, listen, I, I, <laughs> we need to go to cup dates, you know? And I, we have done like little lunch dates, but nothing formal. I've been knowing him for a long time, and he's been trying to get me for a long time, and I just feel like at this point, sir, you ain't got me by now. Uh, uh, I, I might not like you. You might need to get the picture that I don't, I don't really like you like that. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's that one. Ugh. Oh. Yo, I tell y'all, my day is they in my forties has been. It's been tough. That's why I just be like, child, I, I don't mind being single because the, the 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 guys that I've been dating and talking to, man, they did on some straight trash. <laughs> Oh my goodness, then one of my other little friends. Now I did, now he cool, he was cool, kicking with it and all that, but baby, oh, he just had a lot of growing to do. He, ooh, he funny, he was a fun time, but baby, baby, I need you to act like you uh 40 something going on 50 and not 14 going on 20. That's how he act. Cha. I just be like, God, you you obviously want me to be single. Just just say it at this point because the the, the guys that's been coming my way just ain't been it. <laughs> they just ain't been it. But yeah, I don't know. There was another guy that I was dating. He was a little younger than me. I didn't like him at first, y'all, but he he grew on me. But he he wasn't real. Like he didn't keep it real. So we laying in the bed and shit one day. And we talking. You know. And we talking about our kids' birthdays and their signs and stuff. And so I don't know how many kids he initially told me that he had. And so I'm listening to the birthdays. And I'm like, okay, that's a, okay. And that's, the, you know. I was like, wait a minute. You said, uh, one too many birthdays. I know two share the same birthday. <laughs> they twins. But, uh,. And I know about the other one. But you just said three birthdays. Where did this other child come from? <laughs> sip, sip. 
now he he noticed that he didn't got caught up and he failed to mention he forgot that he didn't tell me about this fourth child so now you know you, you, you talking now you done said it you go ahead and let me in let me know what's going on so he said he just found out about another child that's two years old that's his boy you been new about that kid you ain't just not found out about nothing it's just that you forgot that this baby fresh two years old that's fresh i think i end up leaving yeah i did we ain't do nothing that night and i just end up leaving because I just felt like why would you even had your kid like it was before my time so I can't be mad at that how can I have a problem with that it's a you know what I'm saying so I felt like there was no need for him to not tell me about this child in the beginning but I guess he wanted to have that from me but I was just like you know what if he could have his kid Ain't no telling what else this man had. And I just was like, you know what? This ain't somebody that I want to kick it with or deal with because this person is obviously a liar and probably have even more secrets and skeletons in their closet than I could probably deal with. So I just was like, yeah. We're gonna hit let that be. We're gonna let that be. And I still talk to her. And it's so crazy. Like, I just wish he would have told me about this child in the beginning because I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I actually like, liked it, this dude. I liked him. I didn't like him at first, but because he just, he wasn't my type. But I've just been trying to switch it up, though, too lately because baby my type is something else <laughs> my type is something else and I need to leave my type alone okay y'all I had to let that go and I just wish that he would have just kept it real, like a front cause He was a cool dude. He was cool. But you know, it is what it is, and it wasn't meant to be. So, we ain't gonna worry about that no more. We ain't gonna worry about that. Right? So, Let's finish up this makeup. I'm about to finish up my makeup because I feel like I've been talking too long. So I'm about to finish up my makeup and I'm going to be back in a minute. So y'all, my makeup is done. Got my wig on. Finish my makeup. Oh, it turned out. It turned out cute. I was going to put on a new wig. But I was like, I ain't got time for all that. So I just threw on one of my old wigs baby not today I ain't got time I ain't got time I ain't feel like doing all that so I'm about to put a little bit of foundation on this part of mine y'all can see my lace I ain't about to glue this down either not about to glue this down this how we rolling now ooh child let me tell y'all now the birthday girl want us all to wear the same matching pajamas but the link that she sent me that she sent everybody through amazon baby the size that i needed because after reading the reviews it was like size up they run small so i had to find mine through another link because the one that she sent us 
it was saying for the size that I need, it, my stuff wasn't going to be delivered to after the party. So, y'all know most of the vendors, they all selling the same stuff. So, I, I ordered from another one. Now, I might have messed up, y'all, because there were two red options. So, she wanted us to wear red two-piece matching short set pajamas this look it might look red to y'all but it's it's coral it's coral it's cute though I don't know let me see hope hope I hope it fit Okay, the bottoms look like they fit, but now I feel like I done went up a size and now I feel like these about to be too big. Ah, I wanted my stuff to fit tight. Let me try these on. It fits. It fits. Okay, it fits. <laughs> Amazon cut through. Cut through. Amazon. I was scared for a minute, y'all. I thought it was going to be too little. But it fit. It fit just right. Like, it's not too tight. I'm going to leave the link down in the description so it's not too tight but it fit it fit um i was gonna wear a waist so let me put y'all up on game because everybody be asking me so they want to know they better watch this video because i'm about to drop drop the juice drop my secret this waist trainer right here this is the only waist trainer that i wear I have a whole bunch of these. I was gonna put one of my old ones on today because this is a new one, baby. Look, I'm going to a ladies' night where I'm about to be drinking and having fun, dancing, playing games. I wanna be comfortable. I gotta break this in, so I'm not gonna wear, wear it tonight. Or I'm not even gonna wear my other one either because the way this fit, I just wanna be comfortable. But So this is how it looks. It has the zipper in the front. And then it has the the hook. They got three three rows of the hooks, so you just hook it on. Like you can start off on the first hook, then work your way to the last hook, and then you zip it up, baby. When I tell y'all, I be snatched. Anybody that know me, they not. I be snatched. But this is the only I've been I've been mad this one, and I go to the same same company i just go to my same to my old orders and just buy it again i don't be trying to shop around trying to see if i can get it for the cheaper price and none of that because i know that they gonna do me right so i'm gonna link this waist trainer mine is a size large i'm gonna link it down in the description below so if any of you girls are interested in getting it y'all want to be snatched like me get this waist trainer thank me later ladies but yeah, I'm about to um, get my shoes on and I'm about to head up out of here and I'll see y'all at the ladies' nights.